me to change the clock so I can sleep in later, but other than that. <laughs> right here, that right there, that is Vice President Kamala Harris. Let's assume for a moment that President Biden is going to run again. What do you imagine this next election is going to be about? What are going to be the major yeah. issues that will de define this election? I think it will be, as the president has said, about seeing it through and building on the momentum that we have achieved thus far. I mean, think about it. In only the last two years, we have, by my estimate, with the bills and the, the legislation that we have passed, we are putting up to $1 trillion on the streets of America on the issue of the climate um, crisis, around investment in resilience and adaptation. What we are doing, I know there are a lot of students here, and what we are doing in terms of understanding mm -hmm. the importance of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but also this, this very exciting moment in the world around a new economy we are building, a clean energy economy. And what that means, not only in terms of the jobs we are creating, including American-based manufacturing, but what we rightly are doing to prioritize the importance of clean air and clean water. Okay, well, if, if that is the case, and I know that and it has been a example. priority. That has been, that has yeah. been a, a priority for yeah. the administration. Um, how do you square that with the president having said that there will be no new drilling licenses issued on public land and then approving the, the Willow Oil Project in Alaska? People are saying that's breaking a campaign promise. What's the calculus there? Well, I, I understand the concerns that, that, that have been made, but here's the thing. When you look at what our administration has done, it's historic in terms of an investment in a clean energy economy. We are putting America back on the map globally recognizing that we must live up to our role in terms of our ability to invest in the future, create jobs, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And again, traveling the world, they are watching what we are doing as an example and as a challenge to nations around the world and what can be done to address this issue. I would say that we have been quite bold in terms of the advances that we are making thus far, but we have more to do. But look at, for example, what we're doing around electric vehicles. We have just passed legislation that means that people will get rebates, not only if you buy a new electric vehicle, but, but more importantly, rebates on used electric vehicles. We are investing in the manufacturing of electric buses, electric school buses. We are partnering with the apprenticeship programs, IBW and others, who are tra training our workforce to do some of the most advanced work that can be done. So there's a lot of good work happening. Was there any discussion in the White House about what the blowback would be for approving the Willow Oil Project? Because people have gotten quite upset about it. I think there's some protesters outside right now. Well, I think that the, the, the concerns are based on what we should all be concerned about. But the, the solutions have to be and include what we are doing in terms of going forward in terms of investments. Um, I'm going to ask you something about being in the executive branch. Um, are you in the executive branch or are you in the legislative branch as the president of the Senate? Because Mike Pence has said he won't answer the subpoena given to him uh, by the special uh, counsel looking into January 6th and the documents case. Because as the president of the Senate, he's a member of the legislature Therefore, separation of powers and the, um, what's it called, the uh, debate, speech and debate clause, yes. protects him from that. So you, Vice President Kamala Harris, are you in the executive branch or are you in the legislative branch? I am in the executive branch. <laughs> Is it like check one, you get to pick when you go in there? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like pick, pitch, uh, pick fish or chicken when you get the job and he just picked the legislative I, branch? What do you make of that argument? I don't make much of it. Um, <laughs> um, I think that it, well, listen, it is a fact that as vice president of the United States, I am also president of the Senate and has been the case for every vice president um, before me. So that is a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is without any question um, the executive branch of government. Okay, good. We have to take another brief break, but please stick around because Kamala Harris will be here when you return.